hello everyone welcome back to our channel we really do appreciate you guys thank you once again for always staying tuned to this channel remember we are here to keep you updated with all of the latest and most authentic happenings in our country yes uh, so if you're looking for authentic and reliable news my people you are definitely in the right place because we've got you covered yes my people if you haven't given us a thumbs up do give us a thumbs up guys and um, hit on the like button we really do appreciate it and it means a lot to us and also so don't forget to subscribe yes guys the news we've got today is regarding the edo governorship election yes we're going to be getting a lot of update because it's just um, around the corner not too long um, to go again INEC announces substitution for three governorship candidates wow that is quite shocking we'll get all of the details and uh, we'll go into it in a moment uh, but once again before we do um if you still haven't given us a thumbs up just um press the like button give us a thumbs up thank you my people yes uh, we'll go straight into the news and get all of the details edo 2020 INEC announces substitution of three governorship candidates the Independent National Electoral Commission, INEC, on Wednesday announced that three political parties substituted their candidates earlier nominated for a Doe governorship election scheduled for September 19th. Festo Sokoye, INEC National Commissioner and Chairman, Information and Voter Education Committee, made this known in an interview with News Agency of Nigeria, NAN, in Abuja. Okoye said that the Action Alliance AA, Labour Party LP, and African Democratic Congress ADC were the three parties that met the July 13th deadline for withdrawal and substitution of candidates of the state election. According to him, AA substituted its governorship candidate Edema Kitoka Osama Mir with Obo Fuso Paul while LP replaced Omogbeleha Pauline with Omobayo Marvelous as its deputy candidate for the governorship election. On the other hand, ADC substituted its earlier nominated governorship candidate Mabel Obo with Akigbe Ahibi as well, replaced Mabel Obo with Ruben Edokpai as the party current deputy governorship candidate. Okoye added that Section 35 of the Electoral Act provides that a candidate may withdraw his candidature by notice in writing signed by him and delivered by himself to the political party that nominated him for the election. The political party is expected to convey such withdrawal to the commission not later than 45 days to the election. INEC is not permitted to lift the veil to investigate whether the letter of withdrawal by any of the candidates is genuine or not from the political parties. Any issue or challenge or problem with the genuineness or otherwise of withdrawals and substitutions are within the domestic realms of the political parties and INEC has no role to play in its resolution, Okoye added. Yes, yeah, so guys, uh, this one is coming from INEC regarding the Edo, um, Edo governorship election. Um, um, three parties have um, replaced, they've substituted their candidates for the governorship election. Let's remember that um, INEC gave a deadline for substituting candidates, which is July 13th, and they actually met that um, requirement. So the parties that are substituting their candidates, they are the um, Action Alliance AA, and the LP Labour Party and the African Democratic Congress ADC. These three parties and they substituted their, their candidates. So we don't know the reason. But what INEC is stating here that it's not their business to go and investigate if it is actually true or why they are substituting, why they are changing candidates is none of their business. It has to be done internally. So it, it's up to them with whatever they present that um and they also meet the deadline, which is um July 13th. Uh, whatever name they present that right now we are changing our candidates 
candidate. That is what INEC goes by. They don't interfere. They don't go into find out um, what happened or what transpired. You know, with parties, I, I, I believe INEC is um, setting that boundary not to um, have any form of influence so that it doesn't feel like INEC is favoring or working with some persons because, you know, sometimes we even within a party, there could be division. Who wants to be the flag bearer? Who wants to be um, the main candidate, the consensus candidate? Remember for all the All Progressive Congress, it wasn't a small battle. It wasn't an easy one um, for the, the governorship um, candidates. At a point, Obaseki, the incumbent governor, even had to decamp to PDP to join PDP. And then um, with the, the APC itself, they, they are factionized, guys. We all know that it's not news anymore. When uh, Obaseki even left uh, um, APC, the other three aspirants, they decided to step down for Pastor Osaige Ize Iyamu. And that was the news that broke out. It was a good one that Osaige Ize Iyamu was going to be the party's uh, flag bearer as at that time. Not too long, the other aspirants, it was heard that they went to collect their own nomination of expression forms uh, as they felt betrayed. So yes, why am I bringing all of this into this? So um, just imagine if INEC has got um, some hand in that, it will look like um, INEC is taking sides or INEC is uh, um, playing favoritism or showing some person some kind of favor. So they've drawn the boundary that is not their business, um, who they present as the governorship candidate. They have to do their own um, homework, set to themselves, whoever they present them, um, that is the person that is going to be the candidate. So I believe so far, uh, we know INEC promised that um, this Edo election, they will do their best, that it is free and fair. And um, this is one of the things they are doing. You know, they are, they've been carrying everyone along. When they rolled out um, the campaign activities, they made it open that campaign activities have started. They set the limits of everything that they need to do. And they also stated that they've started getting in the voters card and um, also um, they were going to be using the 2019 um, um, register the um the, the the 2019 voters register that's the one they're going to be using so so far so good INEC have been doing well we'll just hope that um, they will continue in that line the news they are bringing before us today is um letting us know the state of these um, three other parties the uh Action Alliance, that's one of the parties that replaced their candidate. The next one is Labour Party, LP. And the last one was um, African Democratic Congress, ADC. So, um, so far, so good. INEC, um, they, they are doing their best, to be quite honest. We know um, INEC, there was an allegation against INEC at some point in time that uh, President Mohamed Buhari has promised uh, um, the chairman for another term, you know, it's normally um, four years for another term just uh, because of this Edo election. Let's remember also that um, APC, which is the ruling party, Buhari has always stated and said to the all progressive governors that they should do all they can to ensure that um, Edo state is won back to APC. And um, as a result of that, it was alleged that um, APC, they are going to be working together with INEC to ensure that they read the election. But Edo Light, uh, they said they are ready for it, that they want to see how this election will be rigged, what um, APC will do this time around. But guys, it's getting closer and closer. We we'll just hope that um, um, everything goes peacefully, everything goes smoothly. We know right now the, the candidate for the All Progressive Congress is the person of Pastor Osage Ize Iyamu, and that of PDP is um, the incumbent governor, Godwin Obaseki. So everyone is um, carrying out um, with their campaign activity. Not long ago um over the weekend the person of philip shaibu stormed the north with um, pdp flag uh, just um the campaign activities everyone is doing what they can um to ensure that um they they try to i don't know maybe they are trying to convince the people but um the people they they they, they are vote i hope they will not sell their vote i hope edo light will not sell their vote they will go for truly what they believe is right and who really deserve to move the state forward so my people this one came from INEC today this update is from INEC and they've just announced them substitution of three governorship candidates in the um edo um, governorship race so guys uh, let's know what you think about what INEC is up to, what they are doing so far, like I said, they are doing good, they are doing well, we hope everything goes like this that their hands don't get twisted and their eyes don't get blind by, by some uh, um, 
some manipulations. We know uh, how they do their things, how they play politics in our country, Nigeria. So we're hoping for the best for Edo State. Drop your comment down below in the comment section. And please, if you haven't given us a thumbs up, give us a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe as well. Till I come your way again, it's bye for now and God bless.